Okay, starting on our hands and knees, and you can always try to do these in bed too if the mat is just not comfortable enough for you. We're gonna start with, like I said, hands and knees, hands, hands over those shoulders. Oh, that would be weird. Shoulders over those hands. Take a nice deep breath in, arch that back, squeeze those shoulder blades, lift that head, and then let go of that breath, tuck and round. So a nice traditional cat cow to start with. Starting to get those abs engaged, the spine loosened up. This is one of my very favorite things to do during the day. And this is following right along with me, so no need to count. We're gonna do one more in each direction. Getting all those stabilizing muscles engaged as well. Good, from here, I'm gonna press my hips back and off to the side. My elbows can bend. We're gonna make some circles. So starting off, maybe some small circles and getting a little bit bigger as we go. So getting those hips now to mobilize a little bit, our ankles. You can always do a nice thick blanket underneath here too if you need to for your knees. And of course, we're gonna go in the other direction, which we're gonna do right now. So switch it up. And again, you can make these circles as big or as small as feels good for your body. I often get some snap, crackle, and pop, and just like Rice Krispies as I'm doing these. Again, engaging in all those muscles as well as getting some mobility. And then from here, we're gonna press it back into a child's pose. So bringing that butt back as far as you comfortably can. Just pause for a second, come on up, and then we're adding that little push up. I'm just gonna spread those knees a little bit more. We're gonna get five of these. So it's press back, get that little stretch, engage in through those abs, keep a nice flat back, and come on forward. If the push up is too much, just go ahead and stick with that rock and don't add that push up in. As long as you're getting that rock, you're getting more of that ab engagement as well. We're gonna do two more. That's one. And two. And from here, getting back into that nice hands and knees quadruped position, I'm gonna take one leg and I'm gonna tap it right back out. And I'm alternating here. So starting kind of with a modified bird dog, just again, waking those abs up a little bit. We're gonna add on to it though, don't you worry. That's five, we're just gonna do 10 like this. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more is 10. Now I'm gonna add that opposite arm along with that leg. So I'm gonna lift a little instead of that tap and I'm gonna add a little tuck here too, really squeezing in through those abs. So extend out and tuck. We're gonna do five on each side. That's two, three. So abs are working, arms are working, glutes are working, and those stabilizing muscles in through that back as well. And good, switching sides. So readjust your position a little bit. So opposite arm and leg, and then it's tuck. So there's one. And pieces of my floor are falling. Two, really being careful that you're trying to stay as nice and centered and not wobbly as you can. That's three, four, one more is five. Awesome, good. Just go ahead and pause for a minute here, give those wrists a little break, and then you're gonna come right back up. I'm gonna start with this leg staying bent and I'm gonna press right up towards the ceiling, really engaging into those glutes. Don't arch that spine as you lift. So it may seem like you wanna lift high, but a lot of times you arch to do that, so don't. <laughs> so that's two, we're gonna do 10 like this total. That's two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna stay on this side though. Seven, eight, Nine, one more is 10. You're gonna keep that leg up and now you're gonna straighten out that leg and bend it back. So working the hamstrings a little bit more here. Try not to let that leg lower. That's three, I'm tilting a little, sorry. Four, that's five, six, seven. Oh, I can definitely feel my hamstrings today. Eight, nine, and 10, good, keep that knee bent. And this time we're gonna bring it out to the side and then bring it back down. Notice my leg is behind just a little bit to really engage those glutes. And I'm only lifting as high as I can without whoop, tilting. So that's three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, we're gonna hold it there at 10, nine, and 10. This one is the hardest one. And now I am gonna go down on that opposite arm. And from here, I'm keeping this leg up, but I'm gonna straighten it out. Whew, so if this is too much, stick with just that fire hydrant. Keep on doing that one. Three, we're doing 10 and then switching sides. Four, five, try not to let that leg lower. Six, seven, woohoo. Eight, both sides are definitely working. <laughs> Nine and 10, good. Okay, let's give our hands and wrists a little pause. You can kind of bend them the opposite way if it feels good just to stretch them out. And then going on to the other side. Same idea, that little bent leg lift so for 10. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold that leg up and then straighten out that lower leg and bend it back. Don't let that leg drop. That's two three, four, obviously at any time if you need to take a break, you do it. Five, listen to your body. Six, seven, eight, I'm not sure which side is harder. Nine and 10, good, keep that knee bent, bring it down a little, but keep it back, and then we're lifting right out to the side. There's one, two, don't lean, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold it there, come down onto that forearm. Now you are shifting that weight a little and then straighten out that leg. Keep that knee lifted, straighten it out. That's two, three, four, five, six, whew, seven, eight, nine, and 10, Woo -hoo. almost done in this position, but not quite. Back into that quadruped position. You're gonna tuck those toes, and then from here, you're just gonna hover those knees right above the mat. This one seems like it's simple, but it's kind of a simple, stupid one because it actually is pretty hard. Keep those abs pulled in, and I didn't call it that, I had a client that did. And we're just holding here, hanging out, having a good time for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Don't drop those knees, but now press into that downward dog. This is the last exercise. If you need to, of course you can drop to your knees though and do similar to like we did in the beginning, child's pose to that rock. If you can though, you're gonna start in that downward dog and then rock it forward into those plank, into those, into that plank. We're doing 10 here and then we're coming up into standing. That's two. Really press those heels back to stretch out those calves. Three, remember drop to your knees at any time if you need to. Four, there goes my ankle cracking. So many things cracking. Five, six, four more to go. Four, three, two, Last one, awesome. Okay, we're gonna go right up into a standing position. Okay, I am not going to hold weights. I'm gonna do this weightless, huh? but you can go ahead and hold small weights if you would like. So starting with those feet about hip width apart, you're gonna come down into a bit of a squat and bring those arms right behind you. Squeeze those glutes as you swing those arms forward. We're gonna get 10 like this. So here's two, three, Four, five, arms and legs here. Six, seven, eight, two more, and then we're adding on nine and 10. Okay, this time I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come up onto my toes and arms are gonna come, woohoo, all the way up overhead and then come back down, 10 like this as well. There's two. Stay on those flat feet if coming up on your toes is too much, that's okay. But do try to add that arm in overhead. Here's five, we've got five more like this. Six, seven, whoo, that was an arch, sorry. Eight, try to stay straight up and down here as you come up. Nine, one more is 10. 
Bring those feet a little bit wider, come back down into the squat. As you come up, you're gonna bring that leg out to the side and we're alternating sides here. So really starting to use those side glutes a little bit more. 20 total for this one, so that's four, five, six, seven. You're gonna shift that body, make sure you don't lean though too much. Eight, nine, 10, that's halfway, 10 more. 10, nine, Eight, getting a little cardio too. Seven, six, really squeeze. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. We're going to lunge it out to the right side. As I do that, I'm going to bring my hands across and over. So lunge and squeeze and chop and then back. There's one. We're going to do 10 on each side. Two, really sitting your butt back as you go into that side lunge. Three, four, five, six. Use those abs to squeeze. Seven, eight. Using my shoulders too. Nine. Last one on this side. Ten. Good. And switch directions. Same idea. Start from the side. Chop it on over as you lunge out for one. Ooh, almost too much force there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Building up a little sweat. Nine. Last one is 10. Good, okay, this time you're gonna take, you're gonna cross that leg behind. As I do that, I'm gonna pulse those arms back and we're alternating here. So cross behind in that curtsy, squeeze those shoulder blades, pulse those arms. So we're getting the back of the shoulder into those triceps a little bit as well. So it's curtsy, pulse, pulse. There's four, 20 total here. Five, six, Get down as low as you can comfortably. Seven quads, glutes, shoulders. Eight, nine, 10. That's halfway. 10, more to go. <laughs> nine, eight, seven. Try to keep those hips forward if you can. Six, Five, four, three, two, and one. And we have one more exercise to go. You're gonna step back into a straight back lunge, dropping that knee. And as I do that, my arms are coming up at about, roughly, a 30 degree angle. And then I'm stepping together. So step back into that lunge. Bring those arms up. It's okay if you're not exactly 30 degrees. This direction though, because that's where the shoulder really likes to be happiest in its movement. So we're working the shoulders, but trying not to irritate them at the same time. There's four, that's five. I'm gonna do the rest of the different angles so you can see that. Six, 10 total here. Seven, if it's too much to lunge, try to just get that step back. So you're shifting that body weight a little bit. That's eight, two more to go on this side and then switching sides and then you'll be done. And 10, other side, here we go. Step it back, squeeze and lift for one. Again, right, squeeze those shoulder blades back at least a little bit, two. You can forgo the lunge, but add that step back if need be. That's three, almost there, four, five. Try to let this front leg really do the work to bring you back up, six. Seven, eight, keep those thumbs up too. That's nine, one more, 10, nice job.